What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're looking at how to solve one step equations that involve multiplication and negative numbers. Let's jump into it. Okay, so our golden rule today, or the thing to remember, is that we're going to try to isolate the variable by using the inverse. So what is the variable? Well, the variable is this unknown value just here, represented by an x. And if we read our whole equation, we have negative 4x equals negative 36. So because we have this value connected to our variable with no symbol between it, we know that we must use multiplication. So negative 4x means negative 4 times x. But like we say, our variable at the moment is connected to this value. So we need to break that connection somehow. And the only way we can break this connection is by using the inverse. So like we said, our negative 4 times x at the moment is using multiplication. So what's the inverse of multiplication? Division. So if we have negative 4 times x on this side, to cancel the negative 4, I'd have to divide by negative 4 as well. But what I've done now is I've made an imbalanced equation. Now this left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side because I've inputted this divide by negative 4. So to keep it balanced, I would have to divide by negative 4 on the right-hand side too. Now I have a balanced equation again, and I can begin to solve. So looking at the left-hand side first of all, negative 4x divided by negative 4, well, the multiplication and the division cancel themselves out, because negative 4 divided by negative 4 would leave me with 1x, or therefore just x. So I have x equals, and then on the other side, negative 36 divided by negative 4. Well, when we divide two negatives, we end up with a positive. So we can, for a moment, just think of it as 36 divided by 4, which would be 9. And knowing that two negatives divided by each other means that we would end up with a positive. So our answer is x equals 9. Now I can double check that by starting the equation again, but putting 9 instead of my x. Negative 4 times 9 equals negative 36. So let's now begin to solve. Negative 4 times 9 equals negative 36. And negative 36 obviously equals negative 36. Therefore, our equation and our answer works. Okay, let's have a look at the second example. This time our value on the left-hand side is not negative, it's positive. But the value that's connected to our variable is negative. So my equation reads 81 equals negative 7b. And remember, this negative 7b means negative 7 times b. So how do I get rid of a times negative 7? Well, that's right. I'd have to divide by negative 7 as well. But remember, that means that this side is now imbalanced. So I must now put a divide by negative 7 on the other side too. Now I can begin to solve. Let's look at the right-hand side first of all. Well, the multiply by negative 7 and the divide by negative 7 cancel each other out, leaving me with just b. Now I can look at the left-hand side. And when we're dividing a positive number by a negative, we would still get a negative. So in this case, 81 divided by negative 7 equals 11.5. But like we said, it's negative, so we have negative 11.5. So my answer is negative 11.5 equals b, or to write it with the variable at the start, b equals 11.5. And there we go. Let's look at things to remember. Our first step is to isolate the variable by cancelling out the number it's connected to using the inverse. When multiplying a negative and a negative, we end up with a positive. But when multiplying a negative with a positive, we end up with a negative. And there we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel. Share this video with someone that you think would also need this little bit of help. But for now, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.